The car market in 2022 is at an all-time price high, with inventory shortages and the lasting effects of the COVID-19 pandemic pushing the average price for a new car to over $47,000. It doesn't look like this trend is set to go away anytime soon either, as analysts expect that prices will remain high throughout 2022 and into 2023. But, there is still value to be found in some segments, and in particular, plenty of new and used sports cars out there remain affordable despite this overall surge in prices. So today in this video I am gonna showing you a cheapest car in the market but first of all don't forget to subscribe. Nissan Z After years of hints and teasers, the 2023 Nissan Z has finally arrived, and its first customer deliveries are scheduled for summer 2022. The new car packs a lot of desirable features into its small frame, and it's affordable too, with a starting price of roughly $40,000. Nissan chose to stick with the classic formula of rear-wheel drive, V6 power, and a manual transmission for the new Z, although a slick 9-speed auto box is also available. The Z only comes with one engine option, a twin-turbo V6 that makes 400 horsepower, and features an aluminum alloy block and heads to keep weight to a minimum. The Z's lack of electronic trickery and its plentiful horsepower give it a more old-school feel than many of its rivals, and on our first drive, we were impressed with the car's overall performance. It helps, of course, that the car looks the part, blending classic design quirks from the 240Z with the shape and stance of a contemporary sports car. Some critics have argued that the car isn't radical enough considering how long it has been in development. But, with the rise of EVs forcing nearly every manufacturer to overhaul their lineup, a healthy dose of nostalgia is exactly what many sports car buyers will be clamoring for, and the new Z delivers that in spades. Honda S2000 Despite the rumors that have circulated for years, Honda has never made a successor to the high-revving S2000 Roadster. The two-seater sports car was axed in 2009 amid a general decline in sports car sales, having already been in production for years longer than Honda originally planned it to be. The reason for its long-standing popularity is simple, the car was designed by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts, and it remains one of Honda's greatest driver's cars to this day. Its engine is a particular highlight, a naturally aspirated four-cylinder unit that produces 237 horsepower, and is most alive in the highest reaches of its rev range. In comparison to the many turbocharged, electronically-assisted sports cars of today, the S2 Zero offers a much more pure package, one that hasn't been replicated since. Used prices for the car currently sit at around $30,000 or slightly more for later model cars. However, the S2 Zero S value is rapidly rising, with a 7.3% increase in selling price between 2021 and 2022, according to data from car gurus. The first edition 2000 model year cars have seen an even bigger price increase of 22.9% over the same period. So, anyone who wants one of these iconic Hondas at an affordable price had better act fast. BMW Z4 A punchy, stylish German roadster with a more grown-up feel than most of its competition. The Z4 is often overlooked in favor of BMWs with an M badge, but it has plenty of appeal in its own right. The E89 generation isn't quite as sharp to drive as the latest generation Z4, but it compensates for that by being roughly half the price on the used market. The E89 was in production from 2009 to 2016, and came with a choice of two engines, a naturally aspirated 255 horsepower inline 6, or a turbocharged version that made 300 horsepower. Both specs were offered with the same six-speed manual transmission or one of two automatics. The top-spec dual-clutch sport automatic was the one to have, according to the car connection, as it was borrowed from the BMW M series, and the first time that such a transmission had featured on a non-M car. CNET reviewed the car upon its release in 2009 and gave it an Editor's Choice Award, praising its performance, but also its suite of tech features, including a premium audio system, easy-to-use navigation, and quite fittingly for the era, iPod integration. Being able to connect an iPod might not be such a useful feature today, but the Z4 remains a great everyday sports car, and used examples can now be picked up for a very reasonable price. The Barth 124 Spider Italian cars are renowned for their style and driving dynamics, but their build quality and reliability are stereotypically lacking. Likewise, Japanese cars are famed for being well-built, but sometimes lack the flair of their European counterparts. What do you get if you combine the two? Well, in the worst-case scenario, you get the Alfa Romeo Arna, and in the best case, the Abarth 124 Spider. The Abarth is the hotter version of the Fiat 124 Spider, which itself is essentially a Mazda Maeda in a suave Italian suit. Underneath, the regular Maeda's engine has disappeared and been replaced with Fiat's 1.4 liters multi-air unit, which in the Abarth, is boosted to make 168 horsepower. The Abarth also gets a sport exhaust, Brembo brakes, Bilstein dampers, and a limited slip differential to set it apart from its lesser Fiat-branded sibling. It's predictably faster to drive than either the Fiat or the Mazda, and it proves what enthusiasts have been saying for years, that the Maeda can handle more power. 
The car was axed in the US in 2020 and was a slow seller before that, so finding a used one won't be as easy as some of the other cars listed here. However, it's worth the search, as the Abarth offers a unique combination of Japanese and Italian traits that aren't found in any other sports car on sale today. Porsche 911 the cheapest and least appreciated generation of the 911, the 996 fell out of favor with purists thanks to its notorious water-cooled engine and radical styling overhaul from previous generations. However, this has meant that used prices for the car have remained the lowest of any 911, and for buyers who can look past its reputation, the 996 is a real performance bargain. It's far from the most refined of Porsche models, and its interior feels cheap and tacky even for the era, but in terms of its engineering, it's surprisingly solid. The car had a reputation for blowing its engine thanks to a faulty EMS bearing but, road and track says, the problem is a lot less prevalent than many buyers are led to believe. Even if the car is one of the few that has the fault, it can be corrected by a fix that will cost less than $1,000 a small fraction of the savings that can be made by buying a 996 over any other generation of 911. While its reputation as the impure 911 has stopped it from rising in value as much as older Porsche generations, it has still been rising nonetheless. Data from Car Guru suggests that the car's real-world value has risen around 3% in the past year, a small increase, but one that may continue exponentially as more collectors realize the value that the 996 offers. Chevrolet Camaro SS A worthy rival to the best-selling Ford Mustang, the latest generation of the Chevy Camaro SS offers a beefy 455 horsepower V8 and refreshed styling. The current Camaro SS debuted in 2019, and for 2022, the car starts at $38,895 including fees for the 1SS and $43,845 for the 2SS. It remains primarily a sports car that is designed for the road, but the SS is also a competent track performer, although it reportedly requires more driver involvement than its rivals to be kept in line around high-speed corners. Also, Motor Trend reports that visibility is an issue, making driving the SS in rush hour traffic more of a chore than many of its competitors. Still, what the Camaro lacks in refinement, it makes up for and bang for the buck. Much like the Mustang, it's hard to argue with that kind of power at that kind of price, and although it's not the most original or even the most prestigious option, the Camaro SS remains an excellent affordable sports car that's within the reach of most buyers, even in 2022's record high car market.